What is going on guys? This is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. So, the world of computers is confusing. You know, we've got a bunch of different terms, and PCIe is no exception. So, we've got something called lanes and revisions. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about PCIe lanes and what times 1, times 4, times 8, and times 16 mean. Um, so, as I said, this stuff can be a little confusing, so I'm going to try my best not to confuse you, you know, to the best of my ability in this video, so wish me luck. Um, but yeah, anyways, to start off, yes, as I said, we've got PCIe times 1, and of course, as I said, that is a lane. Times 1 is basically just the way of saying we've got one lane, so that's exactly what it is. Times 1, when we're saying times 1, when we're saying all of those, we're talking about the amount of lanes that PCIe has. So with times one, uh, let's see. I actually have a times one card right here. This is just a wind TV, uh, you know, where it terminates into a cable uh, plug. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. So on this PCIe times one card right here, we have the power pins that is on the left side. And then on the right side, we have the data pins. Uh, th th those seven pins are the PCIe lane that it's talking about. Um, so basically, with the lanes, that's that's how much data we can get into the device at one time. So over here we have a, uh, this is a NVIDIA GT610 low profile graphics card. This is also a PCIe times one card. Um, over here, this is actually out of the point of the video, but this is a standard PCI card. So this is far beyond what we're talking about. Well, maybe that'll be a future video. Uh, but that's basically the old technology, you know, uh, PCI Express is the new type, that's what PCIe is, PCI Express. And then this is just standard PCIe. Um, over here, we have a PCIe times 16 compatible uh, graphics card. Um, so this actually has 16 lanes where it has 16 lanes of data going into the system, into the motherboard at once. So I don't know, to explain this, let's say that we have 64 gigabytes of data going into this at once. I'm just going to say that because that's it's the easiest way I can do math. Um, but yeah, let's say we have 60, 64 gigabytes of data going into the motherboard from this graphics card. So the motherboard is receiving data from this graphics card. Uh, 64 gigabytes of data all at once. And so what would you prefer? Would you rather have 64 gigabytes of data going in a single file line into the motherboard? Or would you have 8 gigabytes of data going across all 16 lanes? So, you know, it's a pretty simple answer. We would definitely rather have 16 lanes uh, with the data being distributed across all of those lanes. Uh, so, let's see. I actually, I'll need to grab a card out of my desktop down there because I want to show you some other PCI Express cards that I have. So, yes, I've already shown you the PCIe times 1 cards. And I've shown you, you know, these two PCIe times one cards, and then uh, we have this PCIe times sixteen compatible card. It would actually do no harm to the device if I were to plug this into a PCIe times eight slot. Um, although the date, the data, of course, as you guys probably understand now, would be distributed across eight lanes instead of sixteen lanes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get my workstation disassembled, just so I can get the card that I want to pull out because I have a times 8 card in there I just want to show you. Um, so I'll be right back. So as I'm back, you guys can see I have these two PCI Express cards that I just took out of my desktop computer. Now this right here is a just a standard dual band Wi-Fi card that I have in my desktop so that I get Wi-Fi connection of course. Um, now this one is a PCIe times 1 so we've got one um, one lane of data going into the motherboard at once, so the motherboard is receiving one lane of data. Now, obviously, if this was something more data consuming, you know, that you would that you would see a significant speed difference depending on the amount of lanes it has, um, then you would probably require something like a time 16 slot. Um, now, but this, since this is just a Wi-Fi card, it, it doesn't use a whole lot of data, um, so this can just go into the times one slot. All right, this one right here is my solid state drive. This is actually just a adapter that I have 
uh, from M.2 to SATA, and then on this side we actually have an NVMe to um, PCI Express. Uh, but anyways, down here we have the PCIe times 4 connection right here. So this is the power, as I said, and then this is the PCIe times 4. So this has four lanes of data, um, but currently this is actually serving a redundant purpose in terms of PCI Express, and that is because this is not a PCIe um, solid-state drive. This is simply a uh, serial advanced technology attachment solid-state drive. Um, so this just adapts the solid state, the M.2 solid state drive into a regular SATA interface. Um, however, if I were to have an NVMe solid state drive in this slot, then this PCIe times 4 would be serving a purpose. So if I wanted to right now, I could actually just have this floating around randomly um, in the uh, case. And actually, no, I think I'm wrong. Um, depending on how much voltage the SATA port outputs, the SATA on the computer outputs, which I actually don't know how much, what voltage the SATA ports do output, um, you might actually need the PCI Express power pins to power this solid state drive. Now I doubt that, I'm actually hesitant in believing that, but uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll let you guys know later on once I figure that out. Um, but yeah, I think that's the best way I can explain PCI Express lanes. And, uh, yeah, so let's move on to our next topic, which is PCIe revisions. Okay, so with the PCI Express revisions, um, and by that I just mean the several versions of PCI Express that have been released, um, we actually have six versions currently actually five that are currently released to the world and then six that is going that is under progress under construction basically so we have PCI Express 1.0 obviously PCIe uh, 2.0 PCIe 3 4 5 and then 6 is the uh, the one that's currently under construction so PCIe 6.0 is planned to be released sometime 2021 so that's out of the topic of this video um, we might go into like transfer rates and stuff with PCI Express 6.0, but uh, so with PCI Express 1.0, it was introduced in 2003. Um, so the transfer rate of PCI Express 1.0, uh, this is by default. It's uh, 2.5 giga transfers per second, um, and then uh, we step it up to PCI Express 2.0, which was released in 2007, and that is. Uh, twice as fast, which is 5.0 gigatransfers per second. Next we have PCI Express 3.0, and then this is 8 gigatransfers per second, so that's not twice as fast, but it's nearly twice as fast. Uh, so then we have PCI Express 4.0. Uh, actually, I didn't say. PCI Express 3.0 was released in 2010. And then uh, PCI Express 4.0 came out in 2017, so uh, that is 16 gigatransfers per second. And then 5.0, which is what the current PCI Express uh, is, it was released in 2019, sometime in 2019, um, it is around 32 gigatransfers per second. Um, so that is just, that's twice as fast as the original speed. They're actually like, yeah, they, they double in speed pretty much every PCI Express revision that has been released. So let's go ahead and talk about PCI Express uh, lane speeds. So on PCI Express version 1.0 we get up to 4 gigabytes per second. On PCI Express 2.0 uh, we get up to 8 gigabytes per second. PCI Express 3.0 up to 15.75 gigabytes per second. 4.0 is 31.51 gigabytes per second and 5.0 is 63.02 gigabytes per second. Uh, PCI Express 6.0 which is planned to be released in 2021 they're taking a guess that it'll be as fast as 126.03 gigabytes per second. You guys can see how the quantity of lanes affects performance in PCI Express. Comparing PCI Express, uh, let's say 5.0, to the regular serial, serial connection, the Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, or SATA, um, that is a lot faster. Uh, what, what do we get on SATA? It's like 
six giga gigabits a second. So we're getting like what, like roughly 10 times the speed on PCI Express compared to SATA. So yeah, P PCI Express is a very important connection in the modern computing world. Well guys, it has come towards the end of this video now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Um, I hope this video wasn't too confusing uh, for those of you people who <clears throat> don't really understand uh, these types of technologies. Um, I will probably be making a follow-up video on uh, you know, what PCI Express actually is. I'll maybe be giving more information on the uh, technology as well as SATA and just a bunch of other uh, connections on computers. Yeah, as I said, uh, I hope this tutor this uh, video wasn't too confusing for you computer enthusiasts out there who want to learn about what PCI Express is. Um, I'd advise you, if you didn't understand this video that well, then uh, go ahead and check out TechWiki's video of it. Uh, you can check it out where is it up here? And once you've watched that video on what PCI Express is, you could check out this video by explaining computers about what PCI Express is. He does a really great job of explaining, you know, the, the PCI Express lanes and the revisions, and he even goes back all the way to um, the original PCI connections. He even goes before that, so yeah, just, just check out TechQuickie's video and explaining computers video in the link in the video description. It has come towards the end of this video now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.